What's up everyone? Happy 4th of July. I hope you're celebrating in an awesome way today. Video number one, I am excited to show you because I've been working on a project for about a week now and I am proud to say that I have my own physical media closet. If you're brand new here on my channel and you love and adore physical media and everything to do with movies, then consider hitting that red subscribe down below if you have not already, that like button, but most importantly, that notification bell so you don't miss any videos in the future. So I've been thinking about doing this project for a while now. As you guys know, with my buying habits, even though I have been backing off just a little bit, my physical media collection is getting extremely extensive. Now, the shelves outside of my bedroom door, that was full. And then when it got to that point, I said, I have to do something else. So then I focused on my walk-in closet. And I'm sure you're asking, Susan, why are we talking about your walk-in closet? Well, about six to eight months ago, I did do a room tour and I showed you inside of my walk-in closet is where I was storing my steel books because I do have shelves inside of my closet, several shelves actually. So I decided to make great use of my closet and utilize my space just a little bit better. I cleaned everything out and I decided to make my walk-in closet the home for my physical media, for the majority of my physical media. So I've decided that the shelves outside of my door are for Blu-rays only. And then inside of my closet are going to be different sections. I've organized it. I cannot wait to show you, but I completely cleared it out. I do have clothes hanging up in there, but I got rid of all of my purses, all of my jeans that were in there, I put into a different spot. So now is the time to show you the result of all of my hard work. So let's go check out my physical media closet. All right, guys. So as you can see, there is the closet right there, my walk-in closet. There's my Joker and Harley Quinn stuffed animals, but we won't pay attention to that. So let's go into my new physical media closet. I'm so proud of the hard work that I put into this, I do have to say. So I kind of have to walk in and shut the door because it is a little bit tight in here. So that is the door that I just walked into. So let's start the tour over here. Now, this was always my steel books that I have seen. So the bottom right shelf are all steel books, all movies that I've watched. I decided to put steel books that I have not seen yet. So never seen it. Steel books are on the top level, the middle shelf. Up on the very top shelf, those are all of my box sets, my Avengers, Sons of Anarchy, Back to the Future, Indiana Jones, anything. Chucky, as you can see, Harry Potter, anything that is a box set is up on the top shelf. And I do have some space up there. I do have space for more box sets in the future, as you guys can see. So it's not totally taken up. Okay, let's, I told you it's kind of tight in here. So we're going to do the best we can. So down here, these are kind of like the movies that I'm watching for the month. So that's kind of like an empty, an empty utilized space, I guess, but I am using it for the monthly Blu-ray watch list. On the two middle shelves are my Criterion films. One on top and one on the bottom. So the one on the bottom are all the Criterions that I have yet to watch. So those are never seen it Criterions. And then these are the Criterions that I have watched. As you can see, I need to catch up with the criterions. I have to, I have to watch more criterions. So being the month of July, I should probably focus on doing that. Now we have three shelves to the left and one of them is completely empty, but the very top shelf, and I decided to do this yesterday. The very top shelf are all of my 4Ks with slip covers and without slip covers. So every single film that I have on 4K slip cover is right up there. And then there is without slip covers. So that really made a lot of room on my Blu-ray shelves outside of my bedroom door. So now I can put more movies in there. I can put more Blu-rays. So speaking of Blu-rays, here we go. A lot of these, the majority of these are from subscribers that I've never seen. So these are all never seen at Blu-rays. And you guys know that I have my bookshelf of the Never Seen It Blu-ray. So I have a ton of movies that I need to watch. <laughs> I have a ton of movies that I still have to watch. 
Now this bottom shelf, never mind my cleaning supplies right there. This bottom shelf I'm kind of leaving open right now because I'm thinking once I watch the steel books, the never seen it steel books over here, once I watch them, I'm going to put them over here because I figure putting them on like a nice base, a solid base would be better than putting them on like the second shelf. So I'm going to put them down here. And that Blu-ray of Fun Mom Dinner is over there because I'm not keeping it. So <laughs> any movie that I'm not keeping that I just don't want anymore, I'm just going to put off to the side. So that's kind of like the potential, the potential getting rid of pile for the future. But if we swing it around, this is what I'm really proud of. So over here, if I can shoot really well. So that's the top shelf. I have a very top shelf of my closet, which I have my Black Widow little teddy bear figurine from Slayer Reviews. Dad made that for me for Christmas, but I digress. Okay. So here's what I'm really proud of over here. Tons of room. So let me break this down really quick. Before I had clothing here, I had jeans, I had shoes, very like miscellaneous things that didn't belong. So now this is kind of like my boutique label side of my closet. So as you can see over here are my scream factories with slip covers or obviously the Halloween box set. And I have plenty of room. Look at all the space, plenty of room up here, tons of room up here, this whole side. I can go two in, plenty of room. And down here is continued with Scream Factory and then also Shout Factory, so, or I should say Shout Select Titles without slipcovers. So that's right there. Plenty of room yet again. Plenty of room on this side for another whole stack. Still have room up here. I can go too deep. Plenty of room. And then down here, Finally, for boutique label, I have my Aero films over to the left, as you can see, Robocop, Wild Things, Legend, Hills Have Eyes, and the Aero titles that I have seen. And then here's my three Vinegar Syndrome, <laughs> my three Vinegar Syndrome titles that I've watched so far, but there's plenty of room over here. But this is the part of the closet that I'm like most excited about for some reason. I don't know, probably because of the potential to collect more in the future because now I have the space. But this is the project that I've been working on and I'm just so proud of it because I feel like now I've utilized my space so much better. I have plenty of more room to do things for more collecting. It just makes sense and I'll be able to grab things much easier than I was in the past. So this is my new physical media closet. So that was the tour of my new physical media closet. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I want to know down below, do you guys keep your physical media collection in a different spot other than shelving? Do you have a closet of your own? Do you have separate rooms? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you next time.